over one. Trump's assault Controversial. On if you've been near a TV or digital device this summer, you're probably aware there's a hotly contested Democratic primary in Minnesota's 5th Congressional District, the most solidly blue district in the nation. There are five names on the Democratic section of the ballot, but all the attention now is on the incumbent, Ilhan Omar, the and the man looking to unseat feel. her, Anton Melton Mukes. We need someone who's going to show up every day, work hard to bring us together to tackle the difficult problems that we face, and I am committed to doing that. Melton Mukes is an attorney and mediator and political newcomer who says he's disillusioned with how controversial Omar has become at times. In fact, some of the anti-Omar ads are paid for by pro-Israel groups upset with Omar's criticism of the pro-Israeli lobby group in Congress. These individuals have given to Republicans as well as Democrats. Omar's battles with the president are well documented, and she has been a lightning rod for conservatives, including those who can't even vote in the 5th District. How do you have such a person representing you in Minnesota? I'm very angry at you people right now. But Omar is counting on her relationships she's built during her historic rise as a Somali immigrant to carry her through this primary storm. The honor um, of my life to represent marginalized voices and people who have been told to go back um, to the countries they came from and to, to be a voice that says this is our country, we do have. In the absence of independent polling, it's hard to know exactly who's ahead in the race right now. But the forecast here in the 5th District between now and August 11th, a lot more oversized, glossy pieces of mail. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. Well, today, Governor Tim Walz and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan weighed in on the 5th District race, giving their endorsements to the incumbent, Ilhan Omar. Minneapolis is making sure its voting equipment is ready for the primary. This morning, one randomly chosen tabulator from each of the city's 13 wards was publicly tested to show they're accurately reporting ballots. Every machine is checked before Election Day, but this public test is to reassure residents that their vote will count. If you'd like more information on voting by mail or your absentee ballots, text the word vote to 763-797-7215. When you do, we'll text you back a link with all of the information you need.